when you're looking for something random to do, check out this channel. Okay, so for this video, I'm just going to show you how to plant a pineapple tree you've in Germany. So I have this this cup right here, and this is pineapple, and it's got water in it. So all I did was take this pineapple out my fruit, and I cut the bottom off of it. And I stuck it in a cup of water. So I took it out the fruit, cut the bottom off. I plopped it in some water so the water would touch the the bottom of the pineapple and filled the cup up with water and just stuck it in there. I actually got this plant from my neighbor, so I know my neighbor's daughter did this plant and she gave it to her mother and her mother had it on the porch just growing and been growing because all of these you can see deep down here is getting uh, new leaves so it's been growing but now it's about time to put it in some dirt because it's been in my greenhouse and I keep spilling it <laughs> and all the water keep falling out which is why the cup is currently empty so I'm just gonna plant it now it's got some nice roots coming off of it they're growing and everything looks really good um, so first we've got a container here and the container can can be small or big honestly I have grown my own pineapple and the plant I didn't put my pineapple in a container maybe um, a little bit wider than this maybe about maybe about this wide and that's the first pot I put my pineapple in but of course you got a small pot you're going to need to replant it so I'm going to just go off and plant this pineapple in a big pot because you're going to have to replant anyway might as well limit the times you have to replant it so I'm going to start off with this small pot um, and we're just going to put some dirt in it you know I, I have like an actual shovel but the shovel is in the garage and I probably should have grabbed it before I started making this video. I'm just using regular dirt that I just bought from the store, Red, regular potting mix. I'm in the process of making my own dirt out of a compost. I got compost in the backyard. So you just take your dirt you fill it up and just put some dirt in here and I say her, her her mom probably had that pot this plant sitting on uh, her front porch throughout the summer time so it's probably been about four months and after about four months it's grown maybe five months four or five months it's grown about this many of uh, roots pineapples are really slow to grow you won't even get a fruit for maybe two or three years depending on how slow your pineapple may grow but yeah I'm just gonna you just keep putting dirt in here and this pot should last the pineapple for a good couple of months because this is pretty big and I'm I just want to put a lot of dirt in there I'm just gonna water it because this dirt is pretty dry so put some water on it boom 
And I'm just gonna make a little hole in the middle like this. I want the hole to go down deep enough because this one already's got some nice growing roots on it. And I don't want the roots to be, so I'm just slowly covering it up. Cover up the roots first. Cover up the base. And I just want to firmly, you know, like you see it's wobbly, so you don't want that. You just, you really, you really want to firmly push and pack it down in there. Because it's going to take a while for the roots to really, you know, get stuck in the dirt. And you just want to press nice aroundly to keep the, the plant up nice. We'll do that on all sides. You see, it's not really wobbly anymore. You see, it's, it's a little jiggly, but that means you just need to really push it down in here. I wouldn't use too much pressure. You don't want the dirt to be too tightly packed so the roots have a hard time growing, but you do want it to be firm enough to where the pineapple stays in place. And then you just water. I'm just watering it again, because like I said, this dirt is really dry, because I just got it out of the bag, and bing. And that's it. And if you live in somewhere sunny, you just stick this in your You want to stick this in your your scissors, stick it outside, keep it water, feed it sometimes, and just let it grow. And if you live somewhere not so sunny and it's cold, you stick it in your house in the south facing window where the sun's going to come and hit it. Um, it likes really warm, it likes a lot of sun. And if you got a greenhouse, you know what to do stick it in the greenhouse and put some sun on it and let us do a thing. Thank you for watching my video. Tune in for the next one. If you would like to see me do something special, write it down in the comments. Like and subscribe.